Let's run one more here. This is a delight-ish seed that Opti posted a few days ago. <laughs> right? Lots of healing if you don't have the armor. Walking across all those barrier tiles in Sharlock. <laughs> okay, get myself a new page for mapping. Get a sip of coffee. Delicious. And here we go. Using the agility MP build again. Thanks for the good luck, Miplet. We start with gold. Low gold roll. Ha! <laughs> Energix armor. Heal, hurt, and repel. Nine strength. That's an interesting start. <laughs> we knew it would be delightful. And there's a town nearby. Let's just get away from this magic drakey and check the town. We've got gold. It's Kalen, so we should be able to... Hmm. There is a hand axe. So we're gonna uh, reset to get better gold. Looking for 560. 752 is much better. <laughs> I thought 750 was the maximum gold roll. Interesting. Maybe it's 755? Or 760? Something like that? So that was a 752. Yeah, that's weird. I always thought it was 750. Is there anything else that I want to do in here right now? I don't think so. Find that Magidrakey to kill. With heal. There. Hurt right through it. Level 2. 9, 2, 2, 0. Ghost is one short of the level. There we go, level three. Twelve, one, one, four. Heal more and hurt more. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> what a start. There's level four. Three, four, one, eleven, and stop spell. Looking for a town. Armor Knight. Ooh, sleep. Sleep and hurt. Okay, we landed stop spell. And crit! Can we do it? No, not with dealing two. That crit was fun, though. 500 to 755. Okay, thanks for confirming, Miplet. Um, Repel feels like a good idea right now. <laughs> Repelling four minutes into a seed. Nothing down there in the desert. And nothing down there in the swamp. Okay. 
Werewolf. Ooh. Okay. Put Rappel back on. Okay, so North Dead Ends. Here's the way out. Huh, Sharlock right close to home. With a cave. Werewolf will get us a level. Almost two levels. Six eleven three six. Rainbow drop. Stationed right by Sherlock. That's silly. Night for level six. One, four, four, one. Mm. <laughs> okay, two towns right here. Uh, Golem might send me back. Let's do a heal more. Eh, it's not gonna make a difference. We got to the town. Keys! All right, we've got full girl, uh, full gold. Oh, cool! I'm glad you're doing something like that, Dweem. You you were talking about that last night, doing something for your wife. That's awesome. Appreciate the lurk and appreciate you dropping in, man. Uh, is your race scheduled? I haven't been keeping up with the schedule this week. Are you one of the races on Thursday? <laughs> Aha! Okay, we'll be racing at the same time. Good luck, Dweem. You'll do good, I believe in you. No treasure guard, which I should have healed up before I did that. <laughs> Got lucky. Um, not interested in what's in the shop, really. And nothing back there. Okay. Coal was a bust. There's one chest down here in Remolder. No treasure guard. More gold. I'm almost at large shield money. Nothing in there. <laughs> Move. Thank you. Flame sword and silver shield. see that I have the flute. I no longer have the flute. Finish exploring out here. Then make my way back home and check Tantagel, check Cantlin now that I have keys. Dodging Wolf. Double dodge. Should've just hurt more of this punk. Another town. 
Hawksness. Wizards here. Uh, I will hurt more the Wolf Lord and get the level. Could be helpful with the spike if it's a big strength or HP boost. Six, eight, three, four. Eh. Could be a good little zone to grind. Armor Knight. Ooh, back attacked. So this guy's got the sleep and hurt, does he? Hit him with two hurt mores and hope he doesn't sleep me. Oh. Okay. Landed. We got him. Erdrick's token. Ooh, back attacked by the wizard. I was trying to do a little heal walking. Oh, I don't have enough for two. Let's head back here. Stay at the inn. Got enough for a large shield now. There we go. Let's do a little grinding on this armor knight. Don't like the wizards. Um, uh, probably not strong enough to fight the wolf lords without hurt more. So save my hurt mores for this guy. Hope he doesn't sleep. <laughs> there we go. That's level eight. Two, one, eleven, three. can survive through the sleep with the hurt, so I'm not as scared of the sleep, and I'm probably not going to throw a lot of stop spells. See if I can take one more for the level before dying. Ooh, back attack isn't going to help. That's only a hurt. Okay. Zero fourteen zero. Let's keep doing it. that 85 HP. Now I've got seven hurt mores in my arsenal. with a sleep. That's the worst fear. Okay. Another hurt. I'm gonna have to heal more. Stay safe. 
Okay. Double hurt more. Hopefully he doesn't sleep me. He slept me. <laughs> okay. As long as this lands, we're good. Oh. Can we take a wizard? Eh, might not be able to win the damage race against this guy. Oh, only 15. Got him! There's level 10. 3, 18, 10, 5, sleep, return. Let's take a death out of here. Go back home. I've got keys. I can check the Tantagel treasury. I can check underneath Tantagel. I can check uh, Cantlin, get coordinates. There's a lot to do right here. See where I am on my key count. Five, so now I'm down to four. This guy needs to move. Thank you. Wings. Got our Red Bull. <laughs> Got a key back, so we're up to five. <laughs> up to six keys. There's two keys in here and gold in the lowest left. Is a chest down here? Is there a chest across the barrier tiles as well? No. Just this one. No treasure guard. More gold. Ah, oh, we have a gold grind! Uh, silver shield and flame sword? Sounds good to me. I'll peek in the basement on the way out just to see what's there. So I'm gonna gold grind to about 25,000 gold. Artorias would be disappointed, but I am not going to save because Cantlin is so darn close. There's no nasty enemies between here. I've got HP, I've got Erdrick's armor, I've got heal more. Like, this is the very rare scenario where you're gold grinding with tons of survivability, but I kind of stumbled into it. I don't have a good weapon. Don't know if we're going to need a good weapon to take down the swamp spike. Sure, I have hurt more, but that doesn't help against golems or red dragons. Okay. Uh, pick up one more key out of here. And peek in the basement for knowledge. Swamp cave. This is probably a treasure guard. Erdrick's sword. Well, we only need we only needed half of this gold, but okay. By Drakima. So we will come back, but I have this goal. Let's get a silver shield and let's get coordinates while we're at it. Actually, we don't need coordinates. So it's only going to be flute or death necklace at this point. Yeah, we don't care about coordinates. Let's stock up on herbs. <laughs> To... No flute. No, we're not. If we stumble upon it, we'll take it, but I'm not going to go hunting coordinates for it. Mm -hmm. Dragon scale. Mm -hmm. 
we'll stay at the inn. Oh, I see that there is one, not a chest up here. I don't need to blow a repel. I have to check the chest down below. And there is no chest. Okay. Now we'll throw Repel on. MP is a little lagging here. That's right, that was a dead end. We have to come out and then up. Could also go through Swamp Cave. See if we can go east first. So we've got a town and a cave. That's what all those noises mean. Reckonary. No chests. We're out. Extended Brexit. So, Breck. Uh, let's see, we went here, we're going down, and now we have a cave. Mountain. So nothing there. Oh, I don't have Radiant. That's unfortunate. Oh, this takes me into... Grave... Yeah, we can't. We can't do this. Um, take a stone, man. Here we go. Twings, two swings and a hurt ball. Suppose I can check the top floor. There's enemies to fight in here. Get myself the level. Could get radiant while I'm in here fighting stuff. That'd be cool. Let's try the blue dragon. Weak breath. Like to see that. Easy blue dragon. Yeah, we should get level 11 before leaving here. Mm, ah, Sherlock 1. Gotta check the chest. And there is a chest, no treasure guard, nothing good. And we'll hurt more of this werewolf for level 11. And he'll put us to sleep. <laughs> Cause we can't land a first turn, hurt more kill. Eight, four, eleven, six. That extra strength might be enough now to swing and hurt more of the armored knights. We'll take this blue dragon while we encounter it. reason to be not diving this. No Radiant, no outside. I 
And I found coal and hawksness. How many quest items do I have? I only have the token. Huh. So I do need coordinates, actually. I don't know why I was thinking I didn't need to count coordinates. That was a blunder. Should have gotten coordinates when I was in Cantlin. We'll get it when we get back there. We also have to go through Swamp Cave at some point. Cave over there, but I can't get to there. That could be the other side of Swamp. That is all that. I do have return. There's a little bit of land here I didn't really explore. I kind of hugged the coast. Let's backtrack the other way. <laughs> hey, Quinn Patrick. Yup. Thur Thursday at 8, gang. <laughs> Dweem says we should all just be in one big 12-player race. <laughs> that would be fun. Hope you're having a good day, and good luck to you tomorrow evening. Yeah, there's nothing else over here, so we'll make our way back to Cantlin. Yep, okay, that's just south there. I explored that in the beginning, there's nothing there. Get back to Cantlin, stay at the inn, get coordinates that I should have gotten when I was here the first time. See how I'm doing on keys. Do I need to top off keys? I can do that when I'm in Tantagel as well. Nope, don't need to top off keys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hello. Okay, there are no coordinates. Solves that problem. It does lead to the problem that there is two rainbow drop components to find. And I've seen all three search spots now between Cole, Hawksness, and the coordinates, or lack thereof. Haven't seen the Harp Trade-In Cave. I've seen Mountain, and Swamp is down through here. I'm gonna check what the spike enemy is. It's where we found Erdrick's sword. Green Dragon. Let's hang out here and grind this guy for a moment. And try to get... Um, Radiant and outside. I did 30-some damage to him. Might be able to two-shot him. And I'm defense-breaking him. Yeah, I can sit here for as long as I want. So we're gonna sit here until Radiant and outside. Definitely for Radiant. 12, 11, 23, 23. Those are crazy stats. Still no Radiant and still no outside. Okay. Let's keep going. Eight of these for the next level. Now seven. Just crit. Unnecessary crit. Should be able to take one more before I have to heal. Ooh. Thirteen is his max. I need to be careful.
And here's another uh, benefit of the alternate name build, if you have agility. Gives you more likely to be able to defense break a spike like this. I mean, I, I could sit here for like 10,000 experience if I wanted to. <laughs> Maybe not quite that much. A little bit of heel walking would, would, would help. See, what towns do we need to see yet? Garenham, that's a big one. 4411, no spells. Let's keep going. Why don't I just get Gwalen? She does not have a chest in here. She's so happy. Ah. Wolf is a bit more stubborn than I would have hoped. Back to the green dragon grind. Let's see, there's two items remaining. I would really like to find Garenham before I go diving caves. Like, I can start with the cave behind Garenham, but I really don't want to go back to Mountain until I've seen Garenham. Because both the Harp and the Stones could be sitting right there. And in theory, the uh, Harp Trading Cave could be underneath it. <laughs> Take out one more before I have to heal. Take out another one before I have to heal. Okay, heal after this one. Green Dragons for level 14. Here it is. Hoping for Radiant and Outside. 4100. Let's keep going. Unnecessary crit. Next level will be at 7,500 experience. So, what's that, about 13, 14 more green dragons? Ten will be 1,300. Yeah, like 12. Each battle takes about 10 seconds. So that's like 
two minutes <laughs> to the level. Gonna heal here. Uh, 15 appears to be their max. They are defense broken, so it's not going to change. This is the best that I'll be able to get out of the greens here. Extra strength will allow me to two-shot them pretty regularly. Got one more heal more left. I have a bunch of herbs, but I'd rather not blow them right here. But I will if I have to. Ideally, get the level. Have Radiant and Outside both on this level. Start to incorporate a bit of heal walking. Ugh, three shot here. Okay, definitely want to heal walk above 30 HP. Okay. Oof. And that's why I'm gonna heal. Okay. Two more green dragons for the level. This one wants to ambush. And this one is the level. Zero, zero, seven, five, no spells. Really? Interesting predicament now. Let's try to go through here. There is a chest location to check at the bottom. Ah. No treasure guard. Just a torch. run from the werewolves with sleep. It does back into Garenham. Okay. Three chests. Fighter's ring. Two more attack power that I probably don't need. And we've got a treasure guard. So this is one of the two items I'm looking for. The stones. Make sure that we are missing the harp. We are also missing the harp trade-in cave. Interesting location. Got herbs. Um... Let's stay at the inn. Grind the greens for one more level. And go find this harp and harp trade in cave and finish this puppy off. Take a blue along the way, they're friendly. I mean, as friendly as a fire-breathing dragon could be. Ah, oh, 
dodging. All right, continue the green dragon grind. We need about, uh, what? Four, 13, 14 of these guys? In that case, I should be hurt mooring. So I'm guaranteed to get the spells on this level. I have 15 hurt moors. It's more than what I'll need. And then we're totally not going to one-shot him, like, ever with hurt more, right? Yeah, we're not hitting any of these one shots. And then if I cast outside, that'll take me out the Garenham side, so that's what I'll do once I get the level. Eat all the ambushes, of course. <laughs> Okay, last green dragon for level 16. Burn, burn, burn. 50216. There's radiant, there's outside. Go back into Garenham, stay at the inn. Then we have a harp and a harp trading cave to find. What are my stats? How much am I repelling? 96, holy smokes. <laughs> Okay, we are at the top of the map. Got a cave over here. It's grave. Time to do our cave diving. That's what we got all those stat uh, levels for. Gold. No chest up there. I'll just fight through this guy, since it's probably faster than trying to run from him. No chests at the top. Put Repel back on. I didn't pay close attention to the chests at the Inn of Garenham, if they confirm if there was a chest there or not. Pretty sure there's not, because if there was one, it should have caught my eye. Transport. Another transport. Sherlock 4. 
Let's see what the reds are all about. Oh, they've got heal more. Good to know. There is a chest here. This is not a treasure guard. Got a pair of wings. Let's go down this set of stairs. Turn Radiant back on. Okay, so those two stairs lead to each other. So there's only one to check. It's the Sherlock Spiral Room, one chest. Got the Fairy Flute. Just crit the Red Dragon. Oh, he's got Hurt more as well. So Red Dragon's... Pretty free with stop spell. Not like I need all these levels anymore. Got another... This is Sherlock 2, the diamond room. Put Repel back on. Transport. And it's Tablet 1. Okay, so Tablet... Where does Tablet pop out? Hmm. Here is another cave. It's the Stones Cave with two chests. Here's a treasure guard. That's what I wanted. I don't even bother checking the other chest. Okay, there's our silver harp. Now we need to find a harp trade-in. Is this going to take me down to Breconarian Mountain? There's a cave over there. I don't know how to get to it. Single tile path. Aha, here's the cave I saw across the water. Oh, these fools have heal. Let's see, have I seen... I've seen every cave. This has to be harp trade-in. Boom. Now we'll go back home. at the inn at Cantlin, get the rainbow drop right out of Sherlock, and head down in the Sherlock. We're repelling darn near everything. So right up here is going to be the Rainbow Drop trade-in and Sherlock. Let's get our drop.
And I have a strategy about which side I'm going to take first, as far as doors. I'm going to go right this time first. Down the U. We'll take this red dragon for the level. Again, not that I need it, but I could be repelling more enemies if I get a little bit more agility. <laughs> oh, I'm actually a fair amount away from the level. I thought it was... okay. So we're in the U. Should have three shot the stone man? Not quite. Four shot. Okay, then this guy will be the level, and then we're gonna stop fighting everything. Just crit for level 17. No more agility. Okay, not the level I was hoping to fight for. Just a transport. Use Radiant now. Ugh! We are in Grave. Dead end. See if we can quickly clear these stairs. Um, that, this is a Sherlock. Sherlock 3. And this is inside... This is Grave. You're at bottom of Grave, so there's one set of stairs. Okay, Diamond Room of Grave. Here's... yep, there's stairs. Okay, the interior of Sherlock 3. Dead end. Um, there's more to explore on this side, but that's pretty ridiculous. We are going to go to the other side. key, so if I want to go to the right side again, I've got to get more keys. Don't need to go to the right side again. Okay, once that was starting to get really ugly, I was, I was, I was out. And that play worked out. So this was indeed fun, delightful, jetty, week three seed. We do still have a spike enemy to deal with, but we're killing stonemen and red dragons and armor knights at our leisure, so I'm not scared of anything. There's a beach chest. And the armor knight's gonna make things a little bit more difficult. There we go. Then let's go accept the Dragon Lord's offer. We were carrying Gwalen around for 25 minutes. 
Only took three deaths the whole seed. 54-29. So now we have practice of what was probably an average to a little bit more difficult seed for week three. And then we got practice with a delightful one. Killed a lot of green dragons. Let's see how many green dragons we killed. I'll be coming up here in a moment. See our green dragons. Ho, ho, ho. Fifty-one green dragon kills. That's fun. All right, that's going to do it for my practice today. I'm going to have some lunch and get in some work done this afternoon. My race, once again, is tomorrow evening. Thursday, February 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Let's see. Looks like they're finishing up. Let's drop in on our friend Oog. Oog is playing a... Uh, Dragon Warrior 3. I assume it's the Dragon Warrior 3 randomizer. I haven't I haven't attempted any of the other uh, Dragon Warrior randomizers. Let's chat a bit with Oog and see how he's doing with that. Thanks everyone for dropping in today. I really appreciate it. Got some week three practice taken care of. Now I will see everyone tomorrow evening for my Dragon Warrior Randomizer Winter League Race. Enjoy the rest of your day.